CustomTacticals.com here, and today uh, our video is not really a review. I'm just uh, gonna call this the uh, Kirby Lambert Extravaganza. Um, got four Kirby Lambert folders here. Uh, just barely fits on the screen. I didn't. Uh, I only only put the folders. I didn't uh, include my Kirby Lambert fixed blades. So the four four Kirby Lambert folders I. I've got here. I, I realized that I actually hadn't reviewed every single one of my Kirby Lambert folders on YouTube. Um, just somehow forgot because I'd reviewed them on my uh, written website, which uh, you guys can take a look at www.customtacos.com. And the, all all the reviews are there, but they're not on YouTube. So I'm just going to do a little sort of intro to all my Kirby Lamberts here, and. Uh, then you can uh, look forward to seeing the rest of the, U uh, the Kirby Lambert folders on YouTube later. Um, so why don't we get started and I'll just give you a quick shot here of uh, all the Kirby Lambert folders. So the first folder I got here is the Kirby Lambert Snap folder which there is a video of on YouTube and it's the IKBS folder that I just most recently acquired and uh, that's a beautiful knife. As you can see here that the all the dives are slightly different in size with the fuller here, the largest, so we'll get to that one. Uh, next up here is the Kirby Lambert Incinerator folder. This is a high, highly dressed up version of it with the presentation green mother of pearl handles. As you can see, are beautiful, showing like, some serious depth there and matching uh, Damascus here. Um, so... Uh, this one, I can't remember if it's reviewed or not, but I don't think it is, so you'll be looking f you'll be seeing a review of that one soon. I believe the three that were reviewed are the Mammoth Ivory here, the War Folder here, and the Snap. Next up here is the largest of the Kirby Lambert folders that I own. This is a Justice folder, which I picked up uh, uh, just prior to the uh, Snap folder. And uh, this one has beautiful uh, rear and front uh, carbon fiber bolsters and some nice uh, wood here. And this is a big, one, big one here. So uh, you'll be seeing a review for that one as well. And um, my first Kirby Lambert, which is a mini tack, and this uh, this was made when Kirby was just starting out. It wasn't even full time yet. I think he was still uh, in school. Um, so I've had this one quite a while. Great knife. I really, uh, really kicked off a great relationship with uh, with a maker. Um, here we have the uh, uh, Kirby Lambert uh, Inferno folder. This one uh, doesn't really look like any of the other Infernos you're going to see. This one's pretty unique. Um, little window here, titanium frame lock, um, just like the snap folder. Uh, Kirby's frame lock folders uh, are very, very low profile, so they, so they pop into the pocket without creating a lot of uh, bulk, which is, which is one of my favorite things about his frame locks very low profile you don't even feel like you're carrying them and of course fully contoured handles as usual this one here is the spear point which uh, I do have a review of so, as you can see same basket weave Damascus and uh, this one has the mammoth ivory handles that, that I acquired and shipped over to Kirby to make this knife with and the Hamon visible hormone here as you can see in the light Kirby's done a couple more knives like this since then this was his first and uh, the war folder which is the only one with a one cliff blade uh, this is one of his early one cliff uh, knives that has the curved uh, back here um, and there's only a few that, that exist like this the rest of them have a have a sort of a reverse tonto style there and finally, the uh, uh, claw folder. This is uh, Kirby Lambert's, one of his earlier designs as well, with the recurved blade there. And uh, kind of a neat handle shape here. Fits very nicely in the hand. The pinky going over there. This is one of his smaller folders, uh, similar to the mini tack in size. Very nice knife. And uh, that's the preview and... Uh, Kirby Lambert extravaganza video here uh, showcasing eight of the Kirby's that I own and I uh, hope you guys will look forward to seeing the full individual reviews of each knife. Have a good one.